Polysaccharides are poorly immunogenic unless linked to protein and need to be activated for derivatization or conjugation to proteins. In this method, CDAP is used as a cyanylating reagent. The CDAP activates polysaccharide hydroxyls for derivatization or to be linked to proteins for use in vaccines or diagnostic reagents. CDAP has largely replaced cyanogen bromide as a polysaccharide cyanylating reagent. CDAP is simpler to use, more efficient, and can be used at a lower pH than cyanogen bromide. It's a much better activating reagent. CDAP can be used with most polysaccharides, unlike, say, reductive amination, which requires vicinal hydroxyls. The chemistry can be used to both directly and indirectly conjugate to proteins, and it can be used to make diagnostic reagents. The CDAP activation reaction, as originally described, was very rapid and difficult to control. The protocol provided here makes the chemistry far easier to perform and much more reproducible. Before starting the experiment, adjust the pH of the polysaccharide solution to 9 by adding 200 microliters of dimethylaminopyridine stock solution in a dropwise manner while stirring. Keep the reaction chilled in an ice water bath for the entire process of the activation. Proceed with cyanodimethylaminopyridine tetrafluoroborate or CDAP activation by transferring 100 microliters of CDAP to the polysaccharide solution while stirring. Start the timer and monitor the pH change during the entire activation for 15 minutes.